AS Level Trigonometry Exam Preparation Questions Part 2 Let's continue with another example. Example 2 Solve the equation and then I give you the equation 4 theta is bigger than 0 and smaller than equal to 180. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, let's start. Now, this question states cos 2 theta. So, if you look there, 2 theta, 2 theta. And the domain is only 1 theta. So, first change the domain by multiplying it by 2. So, if I multiply 2, 2, 2, my domain change from 0 to 360. Okay, so now I can start. So, now the first thing. Uh, if I'm looking at this, this is sin square theta. So don't forget, sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta. I substitute. I multiply in. I rearrange. Okay, so this is my first, this is my second, and this. Then I multiply or I divide by negative 1. Because I want this one in front of the square, cos square. I want it positive. Okay, now it's a quadratic equation. Now I can factorize. It's still in group B, so if I look, I can say it's 3 and 1 and 1 and 3, because that will give me 9, and if I subtract 1, I will get that 8. And the biggest over cross product, that one, will take the middle sign a negative, and then this one will be a positive. Okay, and then this will be, um, if I substitute cos 2 theta, so cos 2 theta, so so 3 cos 2 theta plus 1, it's going to be that one. And then cos 2 theta minus 3, it's going to be that one. Okay, and then if I break it up, so it's this one equals 0 or this one equals 0. And then I'm just going to get cos 2 theta and it's negative 1 over 3. Cos 2 theta is equal to 3. Now it's the same. The cos graph, if you look at the thing of the cos graph, it's coming like this, but if that is just 1 and that is just negative 1. So it's not existing there at 3, according to this statement. So I just reject it or it's not applicable. Okay, so I'm just working with this one. Now, where is cos negative? Now, if I think of the cos... Cos is going to be positive here, and it's going to be positive here. But here, it's going to be negative. And remember, that domain is now from 0 to 360. Okay, now first get your base angle by putting it on the grease and press shift cos. Don't press the negative in. Just say 1 divide 3, bracket 1 divide 3 equals, and I get 70.53. So then 2 theta equals 180 minus 70.53. That's for that one. And for this one, it's 180 plus 70.53. And then I divide 2, 2, 2, 2. And then it's 54.7, 125.3. And that's my two final answers. Okay, not so difficult. Just the domain that I changed a little bit. And then don't also forget that I first divide by the 2 in the final step, after I subtract the 180 or I add the 180. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now too. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller, okay, that there is space to write. And then I'm going to start with this question. So, it's just a bit bigger for looking at it. The function f, it's just in another form, is defined by x is bigger than 0 and smaller than 180, where p and q are positive constants. Now, for the case where p is 3 and q is 2, solve the equation, fx equals 4, showing all necessary working. Uh, they make it a bit more, it's just going to do substitution, but at the end you just want to get the equation that you're going to work with. So, if I'm going to start, I'm going to first say, okay, I can directly go to the fx to this form, put an equal sign, it's easier than the arrow, and then I can start substituting. So in the place of fx, I can put a 4. In the place of p, I'm going to put a 3. 
and in the place of Q, I'm going to put a 2. Okay, so I'm sitting with an equation. This is going to be my equation. I'm going to have, okay, okay, so if I subtract this 2, so 4 minus 2, so it's going to be 2 equals 3 sin squared 2x. Okay, now if I'm looking at the domain, so we can start with the domain. The domain was x is bigger than equal to 0 and smaller than equal to 180. But because it's 2, I multiply 2, I multiply 2, I multiply 2. So 2x is bigger than equal to 0, smaller than equal to 360. Okay, so if I'm going to now simplify, I'm just going to swap the sides. It's for me easier. So 3, just swapping the sides. Okay. Then I divide by 3. I divide by 3. So I get sin squared 2x equals 2 over 3. Now to get rid of the square, I take the square root. So it's sin 2x. And don't forget your plus minus. And it's 2 over 3. Okay. So I have two options. My one option is sin 2x equals the positive 2 over 3 or sin 2x and that's the negative 2 over 3. Okay, and now I'm going to start. So because it's now in the big, I can just go make my cos diagrams. That's my first one. That is my second one. So if I go and I say, where is sin positive? So sin is positive. Think of, I, I'm going to write it for you in. Think of your cost. So sin is positive in A and S. So sin is positive here and sin is positive here. And where is sin negative? So sin is going to be negative here and negative here. Okay, so first I'm going to just find my base angle. So what is my base angle? So on your calculator, don't press in the, in the negative especially. So just say, say, make sure it's on the grease. So say shift sin, you can do good this. And then you can first say bracket and then square root. Um, I could have left the bracket out there. Uh, press again. Shift, uh, sin. And then you can first press square root, first to square root, then bracket. 2 divide 3, close the bracket, equals. And I get on my cal a calculator, it's 54, 54.2 uh, two decimal places for accuracy, for accuracy of 1, 0.74. So the base angle is 54.74. So that is that angles there. That's 54.74. And now I'm just going to work it out. So don't forget it's 2x. So I'm going to say 2x equals that 54.74. That's the one option. The other option is 2x equals 180 minus the 54. 0.74 and then I divide 2 I divide 2 I divide 2 I divide 2 and I get that this x I'm going to write it in another color to make it stand out so this x is going to be one decimal place 27.4 degrees and this x after I subtract 180 minus 54.74 and I divide by 2 I get 62 point six degrees okay and now if I look at this one so I'm going to start I'm going to say okay again 2x and it's going to be 180 plus so 180 plus 54.74 that's the first option the next one 2x equals, no, not 180, but 360, because that's a revolution. 360 minus 54.74. And then I divide 2, and then I divide 2, and then I divide 2, 
and then I divide 2. And then I'm getting x equals, um, this is going to be 117.4 degrees. And this is going to be 152.6 degrees. And if I want to write all my solutions down, I can say, therefore, x equals 27.4 degrees or x equals 62.6 degrees or x equals 117.4 degrees or x equals 152.6 degrees. And that is all four solutions and that's how you do it. I want to end this video with three points. Point one, all these videos refer to the y equals mx plus c textbooks, the number one mathematics textbook used in Namibian schools. For more information on these textbooks, visit the Straight Line Publishing website. Point two, all y equals mx plus c to success textbooks are available in the NEET catalog of the Ministry of Education. Schools can order these using their yearly budget for textbooks, with the process typically starting mid-year. Make sure your learners have a copy of the Y equals MX plus C mathematics textbook used by the top schools in Namibia in front of them in 2025. A final point. If you are in the position I want to encourage you to buy your own personal copy of the Y equals MX plus C mathematics textbook. These textbooks are available at the following bookshops. Remember, success in mathematics comes from hard work, perseverance and the courage to face challenges head on.